Coniferous has died, and it's time for the next Hardcore Iron Man account. I have a ton of plans for that. That, that sucks. My early game plans for the account are pretty simple. We get to Temperos as soon as possible to grind out 65 fishing for Karen wands, which will then be my main source of food going forward. I would like to focus on PVM and Slayer with skilling as a means to an end. Oh yeah, black on black is definitely the way to go. I'm a bit of a PVM expert, Vanica. Now as soon as we get to Lumbridge, we're going to be starting a lot of quests right off the bat, such as the Restless Ghost, uh, Cook's Assistant, um, we're going to start Rune Mysteries, just the basics to get everything out of the way. Then we're going to go talk to Dracula and have him teleport us straight to the stronghold of security to get our free 10k. With our newfound capital, I'm going to head straight to Drainer Village, start two more quests in Vampire Slayer and Portion of Interest, the latter being important as it is our entryway into the Slayer skill. And then we'll purchase a Chronicle for our only means of convenient transportation this early on. Now this will cut into our cash stack, but it is uh, definitely worth it. I then completed the Restless Ghost and took a detour for Client of Corend, using the Certificate on Piscarillia's favor because it's by far the worst, and using both lamps on Agility. This got us to Agility level 10, totally planned and on purpose, so that we could then run a lap of Drainer Village course for the Diary. I'm so used to having all of this unlocked that it's so easy to forget. Oh, no, 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 run! With my early game plan predicated on getting to Temperos and grinding out fishing levels, I need to get my fishing skill to level 35 as quickly as possible. To do that, I'm going to complete Sea Slug Quest for 7,000 fishing XP, which will get me into the 20s and allow me to skip the awful low level fishing training. But to start that, I need level 30 fire making, which I'm going to quickly get outside of the Eastern Varrock Bank, and then head over to Ardon to start the quest. Unfortunately, I don't have 30 coins to get to our zone from Brimhaven, so after banking my remaining oak, I run to the nearest general store and sell all of the starter equipment that I had collected from the tutorial. This got me 38 coins, which allowed me to get to the Sea Slug quest and complete it for our super early fishing jump. This is crucial because at level 24, we can start out with fly fishing, which is much faster experience than the earlier methods. But while we make our way back to the other side of the pond, we might as well take care of a couple more quests just to get them out of the way. With these knocked out, we'll be able to start training herb lore, raising cats, and cooking things other than shrimp. The only other thing we need to do today is get level 35 fishing. I'm excited to start this fishing grind because I want to compare fishing training through Temporos with my past grinds. The fishing grind is usually so boring and provides little to no tertiary reward other than cooking experience. In contrast, Temperos is the fastest fishing experience in game after level 35 and rewards the player with drops relevant to several skills. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through the grind and just show you the reward. We got to level 65 fishing, not the next morning, but the next. And it was really just a quick grind. It didn't take very long at all. Um, and it was pretty fun. Temperos is a fun mini game. After the final round, I had saved up 157 reward permits. It's important to note that this isn't a lot for this mini game. Our grind was focused on XP and not rewards. However, this should get our account started off on the right foot and aid in several future grinds. This first big effort on the account will prevent us from hitting a skill wall in the near future when we complete Taibo 1i Trio. I'm very excited to have this out of the way and look forward to the next round of questing. Carambuans are a big deal for a hardcore Iron Man account to have early on. It will help immensely once we get to quests such as the Fremenic Isles. Temporos rewards are by no means extravagant, but they will certainly help to have in the bank. After cashing in 157 reward permits, I ended up with a little under 400k worth of items. 
This is exactly where I wanted to get by the end of the first episode, and after 20 hours on the account, we were able to wipe out our early game fishing grind. This should get us well into the mid game, and I'm super happy about it. Thank you for watching, and subscribe to follow along on the journey of Ken the Red.